got done picking up a scotch double from my buddy Paul Wade. I'm also with my other friend Pat Gregory. It's a crazy day of diver hunting. And this happens, this happens more than you think. We're also going to show you how to get in and out safely of a layout bump. Don't miss this episode. This is Hooking Net TV. We're now south of 55. We're going to take a little scenic drive. Down in a state 49, we're just looking for a good time. Better buy another case of beer, cause you know you're gonna need it here. Time to go, yeah, we're gonna start the show. It's time to call your friends and let the fun begin. Party's on, yeah, and it won't take long. It's a special night. How we determine where to hunt is by scouting the body of water we are on. Then we check wind direction and if there's any current. We need to know both to set our lines. The rear anchor for the layout boat is deployed, then the layout boat, and then the front anchor, making sure lines are tight to hold the boat in place. If possible, you always want the wind at your back. Next, the first hunter goes in the boat with his unloaded gun and we set the lines three lines on one side of our UFO, and then three lines on the other. We then check the spread to make sure everything is how we want it. We then contact the hunter via two-way radios. We have one in the layout boat and one in the tender boat. Then we pull clear to a location about 100 yards behind the hunter, and the hunt begins. This segment of Hook and Hunt TV is brought to you by Covercraft, car covers, seat covers, sunscreens, floor mats, cover craft, protection for whatever you drive. I was born in the rain on the Ponte train underneath the Louisiana moon. I don't mind the strain of a hurricane that come around every June. The high black water, the devil's daughter, she's hard. Switching out hunters, the tender boat approaches from the downwind side. The hunter in the layout boat has already unloaded his gun and is ready for the transition. The new hunter secures the layout boat next to the tender boat. The first hunter checks his balance and exits the layout boat as safely as he can. The new hunter steps into the layout boat, still securing the layout next to the tender boat. His unloaded gun is handed to him along with his shells. The tender boat drifts back and the switch is complete. Man down in the quarter, he said, Don't you listen to them boys? The water be down by the morning and he'll be back to Illinois. Takes a lot of water 
Thirty miles from the Gulf Stream, I hear the south wind moan. The bridge is getting lower, the shrimp boats are coming home. The old man down in the quarter slowly turns his head. Takes a sip from his whiskey bottle and this is what he says. Bears, boars, bucks, ducks, and more. Old Barn Taxidermy, the quality your trophy deserves. For today's tip brought to you by Old Barn Taxidermy, I want to discuss with you the flags that we keep in the layout boat. And there are two of them. There's a black flag and then there's an orange flag. The orange flag that we use is in case the two-way radios break down or they're not working. That way when we shoot a duck, we'll hold up the orange flag like this. That way the guys in a tender boat can see that we have a duck down and it's dead. If we hold up the orange flag and we wave it around, that means there's a duck down but they need to come out and go after it and recover it. Also, if there's an emergency in the boat, then we'll start waving the flag really quick, back and forth. That means, hey, I've got a problem, you need to come out here. Now, the black flag, which you may have seen in some of the video that we use, is actually an attractor for diver ducks, and it can work great. But let me give you a couple tips about how you can be more successful with it. An all-black flag works great. Waterfowl Works has them. You can purchase them along with their orange flag. And I keep both in the boat, like I said. Now the black flag, if there's ducks coming from behind you and you see them pass you and they start to circle, what I'll do is I'll pick up that black flag and I'll just wave it real quick, like that. I want them to maybe get a glimpse out of that. Looks like another duck's landed in the water and I have, they may circle around. Bluebills are really good with that as well as canvasbacks. They respond both really well to a flag. Here's another tip. If they're coming at you, and I'm a left-handed shooter, so everything to my right side is going to be my best shooting area. If I see the ducks coming to the left side and they're far enough off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that black flag and wave it just real quickly like that, hopefully to try to center them more in the spread and even attract them more to my right side. It works. Always make sure that you have two flags in your layout boat. You really, sometimes you need a call, we we'll use that DJ Calls Diver Call. That can be a really good one too. Canvasbacks, again, and bluebills really respond to it very well. Those are two things in a layout boat that you can do to once the ducks are around, you can grab their attention and get them to you. Flags and a DJ Calls, there's nothing better. <laughs> what a day this has been. We had an absolute blast. You have no idea what went on behind the scenes. This was a lot of fun today. I want to thank my buddies Pat Gregory and Paul Wade. Anytime that we can go out on a layout hunt and get back safe, it's, it's a blessing for sure. Uh, I'll tell you what, folks. We just hunted out of the new next-gen UFO waterfowl works boat, the new roto-molded boat. Fantastic, guys. Oh, yeah. Absolutely protected us, stable. Hugs the waves, it was awesome. And as you can see, we had a fantastic day. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. As I always tell you, we wouldn't have a show if it wasn't for all of you. Hey, before you leave, please make sure you check out all the sponsors that help us look at HuntTV.com to you each and every week. We're gonna be around somewhere, someplace next week, hopefully with another great adventure, and hopefully you'll be joining us. God bless you. I'm Jim Crowley, we'll see you soon. <laughs>